So the first workout will be a butt stretch, which is particularly this. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial in my channel, Fasa Malik Fight Arts. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about a workout that may actually activate your full body control and full strength in not only explosive but also um, the ability for you to control movement in and out of your body caution though this is an advanced intensity training and this is inspired by kenjin ashura or particularly the character oma tokita whom is the only heir to the niko fighting style that utilizes the full body control to maximize both its offense and its defense at the same time and this fighting style will definitely strengthen your back, your core, your chest, your shoulders, and also definitely your arms, with including and prioritizing your legs, definitely. So you're not missing any body part in this particular training. Now from Kenjin Ashura, I learned that, especially with the Nico style, no matter how good a technique is, you wouldn't get a significant outcome from it unless you understand and you maximize and you have a full control of your own self or your own mechanism of your own body that's the only way you get the best out of anything you have to understand yourself and your own body first now i will show you my nico style workout we're gonna have a jumping burpee and a weighted jumping leg lunges an l-sit chin up and then finally we end it with a solo push-up with a pike hold. Now let us begin with a warm up. We're gonna start with a five minute warm up here, okay? You can do anything for your warm up. If you are a capoeirista, you can do jenga. If you're a taekwondo, maybe you can do steps or maybe some footwork. Or if you're maybe um, doing boxing, you can skip. You can do skipping it doesn't matter maybe if you're doing kung fu you can um, hold your position in a five minute horse stance if you're a martial artist i think this is ideal to put yourself in a five minute horse stance get yourself comfortable pick a position pull it from a squat and then find a center of balance with that horse stance and hold it for five minutes i know during this time you will get tired you will stop but you have to get back to the horse stance afterwards and keep your hold together keep your stance together until the timer for the five minutes is over and that will be all for your warm-up and you can continue to the working set and we are going to start with the legs legs comes first for me because it is the biggest body part that we have and it has the biggest output of energy and by then Let's use it first. Let's reserve our energy to train that part first. And we're then getting the heavy parts out of the way. Now remember, with the push-up, hands has to be flat on the ground and do a proper push-up. Touch your chest to the ground and push it back up. Now I'm landing with a straight leg here just to show you how a proper one repetition of a jumping burpee looks like. But in the essence of a motion, after the jump, as you land, you can land in the squat position and do a push-up straight away. You don't have to land in a straight leg, okay? This is just an example of a one rep. So, again, legs comes first. Now, this is a jumping lunges. I'm holding a 10 kilogram sandball that I use for my resistance because I'm, I've done this a lot that normal uh, leg lunges don't feel anything. And I'm doing this under a time for each leg that is one minute and three seconds. And I change one leg after the other every after every one minute. And I rest for one minute in between two. So this is good for your sprinting power, for your um, launching and your stability. Also, it's great for rehab if you have a particular injury to your knees. Um, you can always alternate the weight of the ball or the resistance that you hold but in the essence it maximizes and it concentrates the energy output of one leg and um, it's really get great for strength gaining for hypertrophy also but in the essence it gives you a 
fast twitch reaction and a powerful explosive movements in your training and this is essential this is fundamental for me especially for the tricking for the jumping kicks for the tornado kicks for the aerials this very much comes in handy in strengthening that part of the body and um, i will never ever trade this for anything now the next one will train your back and your core and it is called the Elsa chin-ups. Now this is a very advanced move. Gymnasts usually do this. I copy this from a gymnast. It took me a while to master the Elsa. It took me a while to master the a steadiness of the pull. And I add a little bit of a hold, an isometric hold at the top for two seconds. It gives a lot of difference. Instead of you just banging your body weight up and down with no control, try to overload with a proper form. It is hard to overload with body weight on top of a resistance weight, especially when you're doing a pulling motion, or maybe a pushing motion. But with a proper form or a stricter, more slow, more um, controlled movement creates even a different kind of overload. It creates control. It creates understanding. It creates pacing towards what you do. And that is essential in the Nico style. It's about control of your own body. Now, remember, try to full extend your hand as strong as possible, as um, stretch as possible, and your leg, make sure they aren't bent, make sure your toes are pointing outwards, make sure they're together tight and feeling like a stick, and activate your core. This is essential. Now, last but not least will be the chest, the shoulders, the arms, and the core that is the slow push-up to a pike hold now remember to activate your core when you're doing your pike and push-up when you do the push-up it is a chest push-up not a tricep push-up so widen your arms to as width of your shoulders and your thumb towards your nipple line and tension down is controlled i give a three second hold towards the down motion and after I reach down I explode up and I pull in the ball towards my belly now I want I don't want to arch when I do this I want to activate my core and I'm doing this under 1.30 so 1 minute 30 seconds for three sets and that's what I'm doing in repeat so again it is it is it is an advanced movement it is an advanced compound movement, but with time and with progression, with regressions, you can achieve this. Now, what is the result of this training, you ask me? I have achieved such a control towards my body. I'm very comfortable in trying new moves, more complicated, more complex tricks, and even aerials, even, even airtime, even... Um, the takeoffs it's a lot more efficient I efficiently move my momentum towards my movement without outputting too many energy so my body has strengthened my muscles have strengthened and it efficiently generates power from its mass through through the growth through the strengthening and it efficiently distributes the energy and the output into a more um, cleaner and controlled movement so you really need to put this in your repertoire if you're a martial artist especially if you're a performing artist it really helps you with your dancing with your explosive movements with your um, controlling and and redirection of your body it makes you move effortlessly okay now recap five minute warm-up burpees, L-sit pull-up, weighted leg lunges, and a push-up to pike holds. That was the Omatokita of Nico style workout. Remember to have a high protein diet, both vegan and animal protein, eat your vegetables, eat your carbohydrates, have proper sleep, and you have to eat an abundance of food. I'm not saying you have to eat like a pig, but eat a considerate amount of food. Get a nutritionist, learn a diet, learn to be a lot more efficient with your training follow me on instagram let me know if you like these kind of videos and i will make more i'll see you guys soon ciao